Did you know that getting weapon mastery level 20 unlocks a quest that'll give you a sick weapon? Let's check out how and what those weapons look like. Alright, and the start of our journey is Eastburn Outpost. That is where we will complete facets of light and darkness. That is going to take us to Cleves Point Outpost, where we'll complete Rainbow Hearts Shadowed Intent, which will lead us to Ranger Madaki in Shattered Mountain, where we will complete our own worst enemy. This is going to be route number one to unlock Madaki Stratagem. And route number two is going to be Shards from Above and Below, which will be located in Shattered Mountain with Ranger Madaki as well. Okay? Either way you want to do it, that's how you unlock Madaki Stratagem. Okay? And Madaki Stratagem is going to be the quest we need to complete to unlock our Weapon Mastery quests. Okay? This quest is located in Shattered Mountain uh, with Ranger Madaki. Okay? And you will also get your Infinity Crystal from completing this quest. Okay? That's how we unlock the Weapon Mastery quest. Now, let's get into those quests and what those weapons look like. All right, starting us off, we have our Prime Resolve, which is going to be the Fire Staff. It's going to be 28 Int, Empowered 3, Corrupted Bane, and Accelerating Flamethrower. As you can see here at the bottom, it is going to require Fire Staff Mastery Level 20. That is going to be a common theme you'll see for every single one of these quests. Suggested Level uh, 60 for completion of these. Let's go ahead and keep moving forward. We have the Life Staff Glimmering Mercy. It's going to be 28 Focus, Electrified 3, Corrupted Bane, and Accelerating Light's Embrace. We have the Hatchet, which is going to be Azure Ravager, 28 Strength, Empowered 3, Corrupted Bane, and Energizing Feral Rush. Next we have the Warhammer, which is going to be Rampant Conviction. 28 Strength, Ignited 3, Corrupted Bane, and Empowering Armor Breaker. Next we have Rhyme Lash, which is actually going to be Legendary. Ice Gauntlet, it's going to be 9 Dex, 19 Int, Gem Slot, Chain Ice, Mortal Refreshment, and Siphoning Blow. Next we have the Sword and Shield, which are actually going to be two separate quests you will have to complete. One is Twilight's Fall, which is the sword being 14 Strength, Abyssal 3, Corrupted Bane, and Empowering Whirling Blade. And then we have the King's Defense, which is going to be for the Shield Rook's Defense. It's going to be 14 Con, Hated, Sturdy, and Accelerated Defiant Stance. Alright, and now we're going to have a Spear to Pierce the Heavens, which is going to be Heaven Splitter, the Spear. 28 Dex, Electrified 3. Corrupted Bane, and a Keen Vault Kick. Then we'll have the Rapier from Araya of a Frozen Lament. And the Frozen Lament is 28 Dex, Empowered 3, Corrupted Bane, and Sundering Repost. We have Clamorous Vox, and Clamorous Vox is going to be 28 Dex, Abyssal 3, Corrupted Bane, and Accelerating Traps. Then we have Blessing the Rains, which is going to give us Torrent. It's going to be 28 Dex, Electrified 3, Corrupted Bane, and Empowering Splinter Shot. And we have the Reformation. And Reformation is going to be 28 Strength, Ignited 3, Corrupted Bane, and Fortifying Whirlwind. That is all of the weapons I have for you today. Thank, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.